the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones video. As you all know, Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire are full of mysteries. There are so many things about this world we still don't know. Even after eight seasons of the show, there were still so many loose ends. For example, most of us have wondered, why did the White Walkers decide to come back now? Why do the winters and summers last for so long? What did Varys hear in the flames? Where is Helen Reed? What is the Faceless Men's ultimate agenda? Did the Mad King really hear voices in his head? What would we find in Valyria or in the Shadowlands beyond Ashai? These are only some of the mysteries that have millions of fans scratching their head. Out of all the different mysteries in Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire, there is one thing you can find on everyone's list. This is arguably the single greatest mystery ever known to man. We all want to know what Podrick did to the women working in Littlefinger's establishment. What did he do that allowed him to get this kind of service for free? Now, for those of you who don't remember, let me go back over those scenes so you know exactly what I'm referring to. Before this character ever won his first gold medal during the bedroom gymnastics, he was mostly known as Tyrion Lannister's squire. While he was working for Tyrion, he showed just how good of a friend he is. Pod. There has never lived a more loyal squire. Not only did he remain loyal when he was on trial for Joffrey's murder, but he also saved Tyrion's life during the Battle of Blackwater Bay. You could say he was there for Tyrion when he needed him the most, when no one else really was. For that alone, he deserved a reward. So after talking it over with Bronn, Tyrion decided to give him a feast for bros inside Littlefinger's establishment. The day Podrick walked in there, he was a virgin. However, when he walked out, he was now known as a man among boys, a god among men. Not only did he allegedly satisfy those women, but they also refused to take his money. It's as if he gave them something they had never experienced before. This is where the mystery lies. How was he able to get these services for free? We all know Littlefinger does not like bad investments. Remember Roz? Do you remember what happened to her? I hate bad investments. Really, I, I do. They haunt me. I don't think he would be very happy if he knew his workers were giving money back. Unless Littlefinger himself made sure that happened. Now, there are a lot of theories surrounding this magical event. I could make the video super serious, but I would rather have some fun instead. Now, speaking of Ross, she said, Podrick isn't necessarily a very large man. Well, not any larger than all the other men they typically see. Is he very large? No larger than usual, apparently. And yet they said that he was... Extraordinary. The most extraordinary man they've ever had. And they've had a lot of men. We're talking about the same Podrick. Quiet boy in Lord Tyrion's service. It sounds like this may be a case of, it's not the size of the ship, it's the motion in the ocean. As I was saying before, there are so many different ways you can look at this. When you consider he had no experience before this, most would assume he finished rather quickly. Now if that was in fact what happened, why would they give the money back? Did they not want his money because things ended so fast? I don't want to believe they felt sorry for him. Besides, it doesn't sound like things ended fast anyway because Tyrion makes note of how long he was gone. Tell me, Pod. Have you ever been with a woman? No, oh, my lord. Wonderful. Jenna specializes in first time. The return of the conquering hero. Does he have a little jump in his step? The lad's practically skipping. You were gone a long time. I trust you got your money's worth, or should I say my money's worth? 
Oh, it was a gift, Podrick. It sounded as if he were with those ladies for several hours. Mayhaps he knows how to work well with his hands, or mayhaps he showed them what that mouth do. As you all know, there are other ways to get the job done. If I were a betting man, I would say he used everything at his disposal. I mean, there were three or four of them, and only one of him after all. Not to mention, when he spoke to Tyrion right after he was done, he did say they did lots of things. It doesn't sound like they just sat around having a conversation. Now you could say, maybe he lied. This certainly would not be the first time a man lied about his bedroom activities. Maybe it's just me, but he doesn't seem like the kind of man who would lie about a thing like this. There are also those who would say, maybe Tyrion gave the woman the money in advance as a way to boost his confidence. This also could have been a way for Tyrion to see if Podrick would give the money back. We have seen him challenge characters in other ways before, although I don't think this is likely either. I don't think he would need to do this right after Podrick just saved his life on the field of battle. This is Game of Thrones though, so you never really know. Now, according to the actor, he said he believes Podrick was most likely just very nice and accommodating to the woman working in Littlefinger's establishment. He said the women most likely dealt with men who weren't very nice at all, who may have also been selfish. So to meet someone who was the complete opposite must have been an amazing experience. Now, some of you may or may not know this, but those scenes are not in the books. Chances are, Dan and Dave wrote these scenes as a joke. We aren't supposed to be thinking about it this much. But let's be real here for a second. We are Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire fans. Overthinking and overanalyzing everything is what we do. In my opinion, I like to think he really did give them the greatest experience of their life. Even if Ross was right when she said he wasn't an above average man, Based on everything else we have seen and heard, he did not need to be. He was able to satisfy them in other ways for several hours, regardless of whatever those other ways were. At the end of the day, I think he got the job done. Let me know what you think happened. Do you believe he really is a god among men? Do you think Tyrion gave them the money in advance? Do you think the woman lied? Was Littlefinger behind everything, like he is with everything else? Leave me your thoughts down below. I can't wait to see what you have to say. As always, I have to thank everyone for watching my video. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.